Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. Oh, we have, okay, here we go with this money focus shit already. So we have money focus, we have the Ace of Cups, uh, 111 on the camera, Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Clarify the Money Focus, Justice, oof. That one's being restored. <sighs> so, what is your twin getting a little karma right now because they chose money over love? Did they do something stupid and chose money over love? Or did somebody's getting some karma? Or, um, goodness. Talk about the Ace of Cups. What a catch. Mm. It's like somebody may have chose something or they were very money focused or chose a situation or a person over you over because of money. Or somebody does want to make something right with you and have a new beginning with you, but they feel like they need to focus more on their money situation than trying to manifest some type of new beginning with you. But this somebody, your twin, is very determined to conquer you or they are afraid to lose you. Like they have a lot of feelings for you and they do they know that you are a hot commodity. Two, two, two on the camera. They know that they're not gonna find another you, or they just feel like you're unique. They know you're a catch. They know you got your shit together, okay? They know that you're the divine femme or you're the divine masculine. Tell me about the eight, the eight of Wands. Sexual encounter. Oh, no. The Eight of Wands is already about, like, a lustful, like, a sexual energy. This person wants to sleep with you? What is this already? Eight of Wands and sexual encounter. Yeah, you're about to hear from this person, but just know that they are they want to sleep with you. That's their intent. Tell me more about, they're watching you. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. This, okay, they are watching you and missing you. See, okay. Your twin's still in this energy where they, they have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. They do hope to have a new beginning with you to get shit started with you one day. They know that you're a catch. They know that they're not going to find another you. They don't want anybody else having you. They have like this energy where they want to conquer you. Um, They miss the sex with you or something like that. They want to sleep with you. But I feel like this person's more focused on money. Maybe they're in some type of contract or they're trying to bring their money into balance before they like actually want to be with you, be with you. Or they're still choosing something because of money. But they do, they want to have sex with you. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Like they're, you're going to hear, you're going to receive communication from this person out of the blue. Very suddenly, they want to sleep with you. They're watching you. They do miss you. Okay, this is of somebody, I mean, obviously, this is, this is your twin. This is not some new person that you're about to meet that's your twin. This is somebody that you already know. You are, like the, For those of you that have already met and been dealt with your twin in some type of way, okay? Um, goodness. Okay, so why is this coming out this week? Well, see, they want to know what's going on with you. They want to know what you got going on. That's why they're spying on you. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Abundance, confidence, period of stability. What? Four of Wands. Oh, yes. this person thinks you are the total package. Why the, what's the, what's the T? Strength. <sighs> Leo energy. Devil. Lord. It's like this person, want, like, they're about to do a little pop in. Let's see what my twin is up to. Or let's see what the collective is up to. You know, I'm still trying to get my, wow, I just saw 444 on the camera. Confirmation. Let me go in and see what my twin is up to see if they're dealing with anybody else see if they'll let me like just you know they'll sleep with me they'll have a hookup with me or <laughs> it's like this person does want something more stable with you but this person is in the pro or trying to tame some type of addiction or destructive habit or something like this this person's almost trying to act like they're not obsessed with you but they are and they're very curious to know what you've got going on. Some of you, they want to know if you are in another commitment. Tell me what the Four of Wands is. They can maybe see you, like, having fun. See, this person, wow. They still don't know if they want commitment. Oh, my gosh. Or if this person's married, there's still something up in the air in regards to a marriage situation, like a, a divorce or something like that. Tell me more. Six of Wands, though. It does look like that's going to, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Three of Swords. What is this? Six of Wands, King of Wands. I mean, King of Swords. Three of Swords. Yeah, they're still like in some type of third party situation. Tell me about the Six of Wands. It's time. 
Five of Wands, okay? What's this have to do with my collective? Three of Swords, Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles, The Fool. They want a new beginning with you, and you are going to hear from this person, but right now, they're going through conflict with a third party. I do feel that they are going to overcome that. But it's like they're going through some type of conflict with a third party. And I feel like they're maybe trying to keep this a secret from you with the moon or Pisces energy. Or we also have Aquarius here as well. But it's like they're trying to keep something on the down low or the chariot. They have a fear of moving forward with you. So that's why they're taking things very slow here. But the divine is guiding them. And it's like they're kind of just like suffering in silence right now. It's like almost like this person doesn't feel like it's the right time. Why is that? Why does this person feel like it's not the right time? Because we also have it's time here. Why do they feel like it's not the right time? The magician, they want what? Yeah, but why are they not feeling like ghosting? Why? See, they're not ready to open up to you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, taming hunger. Tame, yeah, taming a player, trying to resist temptation. They're trying to resist these feelings and emotions that they have for you. Why? They want you, but they're trying to resist it. Why? Eh, what about death? They're going to have to end something else. I can't make it up. Yeah, that they were hiding from you. Like, what is this person uh, doing? Why don't? Why are they hesitant to leave that other in that other situation? Is it because of something financial? Especially with the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, it's somebody that they work with. And obviously, if they have to go through some type of bad breakup with somebody that they work with, it's going to make their work life very miserable. Or it's something that they started working on with somebody. What are? Why are they not wanting to end this other situation? Why are they not wanting to end this other situation? The Five of Swords. Yeah, it's like they're playing games. Like this person will be like, I want to see you. I want to spend time together. I want us to date. Meanwhile, they have a whole... They're still not telling me. Why are they still holding on to this other person? Eight of Pentacles. Mm, it's something to do with, I feel like, working on finances or something. The Emperor, the Nine of Wands. Why are they holding on to this person? They're gonna that cycle's gonna close out. I don't know. They're confused. They were trying to keep it from you that they had somebody else that they were holding on to. And they know that if they're gonna commit to you, they're gonna have to maybe it's just this person is not has not been wanting to give up their options. It could be that for some of you too. Like they know that because I just saw the taming a player card. So it's like this person knows that if they're going to be with you, they can't have multiple different people. They can't have their side chicks or their side dudes and also have you at the same time. They're, like they're going to have to fully let all that, that old player lifestyle go to be able to be with you. And I feel like for some reason, this person is weird about wanting to do that. I don't know why. So let's see what else I can get. Um, What do I want to use? Mm, don't want to use this. I'm going to use this deck. This person, like, sees you, like, having fun or something. That's what the Four of Wands is in this case. This person seeing, they're, like, sad AF, okay, guys? They're super sad. They're crying for some of you. They see you, yeah, and this is what they get. This is exactly what they get. Yes, look at this. Super, I'm, I'm trying to pick up the cards and all these other ones keep coming out. They chose something. They For some of you, they, they tried to continue to try to, they're trying to fix something in their life. Like, I don't know if it, it's going to be their finances or they they were already dealing with somebody. You might, maybe didn't know about this and it was bad between the two of them, but they thought that they could fix it. But it's more so I feel like they're trying to, it's something to do with money here. Trying to fix it, correcting it or improving something, making the best out of a bad situation. So they're maybe staying in a situation to be able to improve their finances, but it's a bad situation. And they they chose to stay in the situation with bad and to like with for the wrong reasons. Yeah, living in an illusion. They chose some type of superficial relationship. One that either looked good or that other people approved of, or that they were getting some type of like material gain from, or this person was helping them out financially or helping them in some type of way. Okay. Now they're in this ocean of tears energy, emotional loss, defeat, deep sadness, heartbreak, regrets, and mistakes. Like, I don't know, but I'm telling you guys, I do see them wanting to sleep with you. I'm just being honest. They want to sleep with you. 
it's like they're not ready to fully commit to you. They want to do they do want to spend some time with you and they definitely are thinking of sexually, okay? But they're still not ending something else for my financial reasons, financial reasons, okay? Follow the signs. It says, yeah, it's not an accident or a coincidence. You are not alone. Signs and synchronicities. Tell me more. The grass, see, they're greedy. Materialism, mm -hmm. possessiveness, selfishness. They're materialistic, so much so that they will stay with somebody or choose somebody over you just for that reason. But they're possessive and selfish enough that they want to keep you strong along or keep you on the side too. Like they want to have you and this other. They want to benefit off of whoever this is financially and also have you for like the other things, like the emotions, the sex, all that stuff. No, and not give you everything you deserve. We have worth the fight. I told you, they want to kind of conquer you or something, not giving up easily. If you thought that this person was done, you would never hear from them again. That's not the case. You will hear from them. They're going to try to fight for you or try to get when you get you to come back or something like that. Not giving up easily, wanting to conquer, fighting for your love. It could be because they're, they're starting to feel possessed over you for whatever reason. They're maybe feeling like they're getting some type of sign or something. Yeah, the knight's tale. Chival chivalry. I can never say that word. Chival <laughs> chivalry. I can't say it. Wow. And <laughs> an offer of love, old-fashioned values. What is that? Outside influences. I told you it. Maybe it was somebody that their family approved of or their friends. Say more outside influences. The traveler. Beginning your journey. Listening to other people's opinions. Others affecting the outcome. What about the night? What does this have to do with my collective? Trick or treat. They're playing games with you. They had outside influences or external factors. They were keeping you at a distance. Yep. What about, what is this? photographs they want to return an offer actually give you a genuine offer of love but yeah loyal devoted unconditional love protection but but they're in this energy where they're still playing games yeah they're gonna return yeah the return the past returns coming together returning home but just know guys that this person is gonna be coming in playing games with you here what is the traveler queen bee Oh, standing out from the rest, a natural leader. Okay. Fair is fair. Justice. Recognition. Recognition. Favorable outcome. Mm, what is this? Travel, a foreigner, long distance relationship, beginning your journey. Drama out of control. What's this have to do with the travel, traveler though? Une something is going to happen. That's, there's not going to be like an unexpected start to a new journey or a new path here. And it looks like it, it looks like some they feel like you're like a new journey or something. Or you're very you're for oh, you're foreign to them. That's what it is. Wow. I couldn't get I wasn't getting it. You're like new territory for this person. This person is used to this shit right here. Circus in town, drama, out of control, unpredictable situation. Then you're this queen bee, this empress energy, a natural leader standing out from the rest, ruler of their hearts. Yep. They're, you're, they're the one that they feel like they want to give you some balance. They want to do right by you, okay? They they want, they want know that you will only settle for something mutually beneficial, all right? So, yeah, favorable outcome, joyful transformation, recognition, and the unexpected. Surprises, expect the unexpected, shocking revelations. Okay, so are they realizing that, that that's who you are and that they should, you know, do right by you? Yeah, they're realizing that you are their perfect match. <laughs> perfect match, great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection. Sacred cycles, like, but the old needs to be let go of. The old self, the old people, the old whatever, habits. Honor the, honor the cycle you are in. What goes around comes around. Let go of the old. Battle wounds, yeah, ongoing battle. Weary guarded. Somebody needs to, if it's not that this person is literally with, somebody needs to let go of their, who had a reading like this? Aries? I don't know. Somebody had a reading like this. Somebody needs to let go of their exes, okay? Somebody, it's, or it can be you and this person. This is going to continue to be really rough between you and this person. I mean, some of you guys, you don't have to take this person back, right? But for those of you that want this person, especially since this is your twin, this is a twin flame reading, things are going to continue to be difficult between you and this person because you and this person are both guarded, guarded and weary from past relationships, past experiences. That stuff needs to be healed. It needs to be let go. It needs That baggage needs to be released before you guys can embark on this new journey together where things actually work out and it's healthy. And it's good. 
So yeah, exactly. What did I just say? The Grim Reaper. Break up, divorce, clearing away the old, cutting something or someone off. Very clear. <laughs> we have Ocean of... Yeah, those cards. So the Ocean of Tears is coming out again. Somebody's regretful. Mm -hmm. Lady Venus, beauty and grace, romantic and sexual love, explores your desires. Ah! Is somebody feeling like you're very, like, alluring at this time? I heard sultry before I um start filming. So, and they're, like, over there. What is Ocean of Tears and Lady Venus? Right here waiting. Wow. There's somebody is longing and yearning for you. I feel like somebody's also realizing that you were everything that they wanted and you've been right in front of their fucking face. I don't know. And now they're in regret. Why are they in this Ocean of Tears? Why are they in an ocean of tears? They're learning some type of spiritual lesson. Spirit's just saying that eventually they're going to have a lot of regrets. But for right now, they're healing. They're starting to awaken. Um, they're kind of maybe going through like a death and a rebirth process. And they're in the process of learning spiritual lessons. Okay. Spirit says it may take a while. Or what is the clock is slow? A late, yes, somebody is like very much a procrastinator. Reluctance to make an effort, procrastinating, lack of action. They're going to regret this. I'm telling you, they're going to regret how slowly they, how they procrastinated things. Why are they in re, all in their feelings about it? Cool peppermint. Plus, it's just like you were so foreign to them. They didn't know what to do with you. Yeah, but opening your heart. Yeah, healing old emotional pain, preparing for new love. What's this mean for my collective? Something's manifesting for you. You guys could be finally healing and overcoming some type of hurt or sadness or heartbreak as well. We have twin flame on the back of the deck. Yes, they are your twin flame, yin and yang, forever, life forever changed. Yeah, and they will be taking action. And it says it's a celebration, victory. Yeah. But something here about this karmic, karmic relationship, karmic situations, dead, not for you. See? All seeing eye. See, I feel like this person's about to try to come toward you. This is like a warning reading. There will come a time where this person's going to be in deep regret. You know why they're about to be crying? You know why? Because this person's about to take action towards you. Right? They're about to come in and take action towards you. Very prideful they're coming in, too. Like, thinking that they're going to be victorious. Or, or, you know what's also happening is that this person maybe thought that they were going to have some type of victory in a karmic relationship. But I don't think it turned out that way. But they're gonna, you're going to be receiving communication from this person. The Spirit says, you will know. You guys see the truth about this person now? Truth, clarity, perspective. Yeah. And you're going to be very closed off and guarded to, towards this person. Yeah. Someone's going to start feeling like their time is running out with you because you are going to be like very closed off to them. For some of you, you're literally going to block this person or you already have blocked them. And now they're like, no, we're meant to be together. It was faded. Like, you know, now I'm feeling the pressure. I'm, I have to hurry up and do something. They were dragging their damn feet. They were dragging their feet and closing out a cycle. Ooh, it was somebody that they were either friends with benefits with. It says being friends first, keeping it casual, going. Yeah, for, they chose friends or friends with benefits or a superficial relationship over you. They're wanting to close that out now because now they feel that like they, they waste too much time. You're done now. They, it's, they waited too long. Now, whatever the other situation was, it's like they felt very lonely and abandoned in that situation as well. It was so toxic. Wow. They just feel like you were so different from what they were used to. You were foreign territory. You, it scared them. They they chose their comfort zone over you. All right. But it's like this prop, this person is super possessive over you. They knew that they should have like taken that leap of faith. They knew that you were probably the right choice, but they just, they let their, and they knew that you were the one they should have given the proper offering to. They just delayed this. They were taking their sweet time with doing this because they, and, and it caused a lot of friction between you and this person. But they're in the, pro, they're, I told you, they're going through a spiritual death, spirit rebirth process, self-discovery, dark night of the soul. And then they're going to want to take a risk on you. Yeah. And they're going to give up some things, sacrifice, a difficult decision, aligning priorities, must give up something to win. If they want you, they're going to have to give something up. It's like, it could be more than one thing. It could be an addiction. It could be a person. It could be toxic family, toxic friends, whatever the situation is. There's something that they've been holding on to that has been causing a lot of drama and conflict between the two of you. And you will never, you two will never be able to work out as long as they're holding on to whatever they're holding on to. Like, but it's like, I see you receiving communication from this person, but they're still going to have a lot of karmic debt and a lot of karmic ties to them. Okay. 
And um, I feel like you guys see this now. You, you've gained some, you will be gaining some type of clarity or you do have some type of clarity when it comes to this person, whether it's like just like a dream you had or just something that you have just come to terms with within yourself or you from watching these readings, then when they come towards you, you're going to know what they have going on and you're going to be very closed off and guarded to them. You're not going to give them that same access to you that you maybe gave them before, because I definitely see that they're coming, trying to come in with you to sleep with you. Maybe before they would come in, they would sleep with, you know, you would let them have access to you. You would be intimate with this person and then they would continue. You guys would just end up fighting again, or they would ghost you or they would leave you. They would do something that would make everything go to shit to get shit again. And this time you're seeing this from a mile away. So now they're going to be in this ocean of tears. That's already come out a few times. So yeah, they're going to be going through it, drowning in their emotions, drowning in their regrets and their mistakes. Oh, what I'm going to name this reading. Yeah, wanting your forgiveness. I'm seeking your forgiveness. Even if I can't utter the words, I'm trying to forgive myself for treating you unfair, unfairly. How can I talk? Unfairly, but I'm hoping I can quiet my guilt. Twin flame. Yeah, purpose to live life separately, learning lessons, possible reunion after becoming stronger and awakened. Single soul split in half before reincarnating, reincarnating into two separate bodies. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm understanding our relationship and our connection. What I once thought was trivial was something more on a higher consciousness. I couldn't understand it then, but I do now. Yeah, yeah. I get so emotional when your name comes up, when I see something that reminds me of you. You triggered something inside of me that caused me to feel uncomfortable. Yep, in my own skin. I don't understand these emotions. Time is ticking. Things moving too fast or moving, not moving at all. Yeah, it's like you triggered, the, something about you scared this person. It was very foreign to them, okay? And instead, they, they didn't embrace it. It made them scared. It made them run away. And it made them procrastinate. And like, now it's like, they're going to be feeling like, oh my gosh, I, I waited too long. Like, I missed my chances. Time is difficult to calculate when union, with union, when in union, but feels never ending when apart. Let's see. Angel numbers and that's already came out too. So you guys are maybe receiving signs and synchronicities or they are as well. Positive movement forward, divinely guided. So when you guys see those repeating numbers, we are just trying to show you that things are moving toward or moving forward in a positive direction. Okay. You guys are being divinely guided back toward each other. Okay. I feel there needs to be compromise in order to move forward. We both have blamed each other and accused each other of things. I want to heal all of this with you and know we can rebuild together. I've been working on myself, my self-worth, and I am recognizing the issues that have been holding me back. I'm trying to heal myself by loving myself first. And we have, we need to let go of our issues and work through our struggles by recognizing what went wrong and how we played a part in it. I love you too much to let you go. Let's start anew. So, yeah. Yeah, this person, they chose to settle in their comfort zone. Were, like, because you, what they felt for you was very intense and it was not, and unlike anything they ever felt before, it was foreign to them. So they chose their comfort zone over you. And they also did something in regards to money. They chose a situation because of financial stability or money or what they were getting out of a situation. But it says, I know I'm not happy, but I feel I have no way out. I just can't walk away from my duties and the one I am with, even if I'm not entirely happy. Hmm. I see the one having a beginning with you, but this is like the underlying energy. So this is what is happening. This person settled in a situation where they weren't happy because they felt like they had an obligation there. Or they had, um, they do, they couldn't just walk away from somebody, even if they were miserable there. Yeah, charismatic Casanova, fear of commitment. But see, what is that? How, how does this person have another person that they don't feel they can walk away from, but they also have a fear of commitment in there, a player? So that makes me feel like it wasn't so much like somebody that they were like committed to. It could have been like an obligation that they had or something like that. Or like responsibility. They, maybe they were financially taking care of somebody or something like that. But it's like, yeah, emotional avoidant detachment style. Fond of many lovers and has many love affairs. Yeah, it's like they were, they were like entertaining more than one person. It wasn't just you. It was maybe multiple people. But yeah, dark night of the soul again. Enhanced awareness of identity. An extremely difficult and painful period. Personal and de deep development of oneself. So they're going through the dark night of the soul. Or they're about to jump into the dark night of the soul. That's that symbolic death and rebirth process that I've talked about a few times in this reading. And it's leading to this. I finally see and understand everything. I'm feeling hopeful for the future. I'm envisioning you back in my life while continuously working on myself. So, yeah. They got to get whatever this chaos is, the circus, 
that they've got going on in their other situation is an issue. Battles, arguments, and unnecessary conflicts feel, feels their world is falling apart, literally. Physical world filled with chaos, confusion, and destruction. Lord. But it says, I'm healing myself through meditation and spiritual practices. It is the only way I can make myself whole. Yeah. This person feels like you guys have just kept repeating a cycle. Or they keep, it, it maybe hasn't even, it's deeper than just you. They just keep repeating a cycle, period. And it's because this person is money hungry or something. More concerned with what people think of them and their status in life. They do things based off making other people happy. Or what they think other people want them to do. Or they choose situations based off of money, instability, or something like that. It says obsessively focused on money or cares deeply about owning lux luxury goods. Like, what is that? Yeah, and this person has an issue with, like, infatuation or something like that. Being carried away by an unreasonable passion. Obsessively strong emotions for someone based on physical needs and or believing it is the perfect relationship. Lord, this person has like grass is greener syndrome or it's like they have a bad habit of just seeing somebody that they think is attractive or seeing like something valuable in somebody and like just thinking that they have to have that person. It must be love. Like they are just like they they jump the gun. They rush into things. I don't know. But. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to pick one more. I need one more card because I want to see. So, one more card in regards to their connection with my collective spirit. Then we're going to take it over to the extended reading. <laughs> permanent mark. You left a permanent mark on their heart that can't be erased. Even if they tried, you will always be remembered. Yeah, unspoken love. They've been carrying a torch for you all along, but unable to confess their love due to fears of rejection. This person doesn't feel good enough for you. Let's do one more. Healing. Yeah, there's, they definitely need to do that. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. So yeah, you and this person may already be in separation or you will be going into separation soon. Um, but for some of you, you've already been in separation from this person. You've already been in a healing cycle or they've already been going through some type of healing cycle. But Spirit says it's coming to an end soon. They've been in this period of it says they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there is nothing to give. Yeah, but divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Yeah. Guarded. They are still very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses. Allow them to fall in love in steps. Mm. All right, one more and then I'm done. Taking aim. This person feels like once they get their, their shit together, they will be the total package for you. Like they will be able to succeed with you. That one day things will be able to be successful between the two of you. They have stepped into their power and taking action towards you. They will not miss their mark this time. And it says frequency. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. All right. All right. 